Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another eBay video. I think I'll do my five and five. This will be the quick one. Top five sells. Uh, I'm Redbeard. This is the Redbeard Grind. Uh, and all I do is review what I sold the day before on eBay so you guys can see what's moving and for what price it's going for. And also just to see, a, I, I consider my store successful. I get sales every day. So you can just kind of see the numbers and see that it can be done. Um, I'm I'm not extraordinary. I'm just an average guy just trying to make money without uh, reporting to someone else. So yesterday we did 16 sales total and we did $531 in sales, which is just an average day. Average day for eBay. Let me sort this high to low so y'all can see the good stuff. All right, so let's go. Poncho. I keep selling this. I keep finding it. I keep selling it. It's weird because I went like a year and a half, two years without finding it. And all of a sudden, I'm finding it every week now. I love this brand. Let me show you the logo real quick. If you find this brand, even in bad condition with holes and stains, people will buy it. So it's worth a pickup if it's in like okay condition. If it's totally destroyed, maybe not. But I've sold them with holes and stains and they move just fine. This one I listed last night on the 15th today's the 16th and it sold within a couple hours for full asking price i put 49.87 on it and it was gone i think it was gone before i was done listing the rest of my stuff which is awesome that happened three or four times last night which isn't normal for me but um there was a couple of things i priced really low to get the the quick sell so poncho remember that if you see this pick it up a lot of times they put these in the um long sleeve uh like dress shirts because they don't know what it is at the thrift if it's just a plain white or black one but it's a good brand and it flies off the shelves uh, let's see this is vintage wrangler brush popper shirt brush poppers are pretty popular especially this older stuff with these um, the color blocks i listed this january 13th so it hasn't been around too long this is a good example of making money off wrangler uh, wrangler western shirts i don't normally buy the western shirts but when they have really cool color schemes i do I just listed one a couple of days ago that had some reds and blacks that I listed it way lower than this. But I got full asking price for this 49 bucks. I bought it probably for five or six and it's out of here. Elaine Fisher. This is probably a good example of a bad example. It looks like I made good money on it, but really I didn't. I sold it for 19 bucks, which is okay. I've had this thing um, listed since June of last year and and I think I sold it and I got returned and I sold it again, but it looks like I made a decent amount of money on it. Here, I'll show you. Well, let me show you the logo real quick. Elaine Fisher. Most people are familiar. Elaine Fisher. Um, I don't, or Eileen, Eileen Fisher. I'm saying Elaine, Eileen Fisher. Um, I don't really look at this brand or even look at women's tops anymore at all. This has just been around for a while. I got $45 because it was an overseas sell. So the ship, the shipping cost was high. So it's kind of not, not really a great one. Maybe I'll go, I'll do six so you can see some better stuff. That one was a, it was like a trick. Um, sal, uh, salvage, Salvage Havoc straight jeans. I found this brand twice, just within the last couple of weeks. I'm not familiar with it, but it I've sold both of them now for a decent amount of money. I got 36, 87 plus shipping on this one. There's your logo inside, your tag inside tag outside um the havoc both of them were the havoc straight jeans and they both moved really fast the other one had some stains on it and i think i got in the high 30s for on that one too so that's a decent one to have on your radar juicy couture this just keeps flying off the shelf i listed this february 14th sold it for full asking at 29 bucks i probably could have priced this in the high 30s maybe even low 40s and still moved it eventually but i like to price things like i mean i bought this for six bucks so I want to price it and get money back soon and then go buy something else. And the black label, I don't know if the black label is like more valuable or not. All right. So Juicy Couture is still popular flying off the shelves right now. And let's just jump into a sixth one since the Eileen Fisher was not a real, not a real bolo. So Burberry's, I mean, Burberry's with an S is the older version of Burberry. You'll find Burberry and Burberry Brit, Burberry London. Um, it's all valuable. All of it sells and it sells fast if you price it right. This was a shirt I bought for six bucks. I sold for 30. There was nothing special about it, um, but the Burberry's 
is the older version of Burberry. Um, from my understanding, this was made in USA too, which was really cool. Um, look at it, it's just a plain shirt, just a plain shirt, nothing special about it. And I sold it for 30 bucks plus shipping. So I got 35. Yeah, that's the five and five and six minutes. Maybe I went over a little bit, but thanks for watching. If you want to see all this other stuff, um, look at my next video of what's sold on eBay for 12th for February 15th. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow.